Good morning again, everybody. Welcome back to Lily Lulu. If you haven't been here before, my name is Karen. I am the Junk Journal Geek. And if you are a returning visitor, thank you very much for coming back and joining me today. I do appreciate your company. So I'm carrying on working on my spring summer journal. This is a design team project for Sunny Creates. Um, hopefully you'll have seen the previous video um, and I'm just carrying on with this. So I've had a bit of a mad idea and I'm going to have a go at something. Um, we'll see if it works or not. I'm sorry for the shadows. It's a really dull overcast day here today. So I have got the overhead light on and it does mean that my camera setup makes shadows. So I hope it's not too distracting, but um, there's not much I can do about that, I'm afraid. So... As you know, I love working with my... Oh, this is what I've done so far. I've put my pages together. This has taken me entirely too long. Um, I was overthinking it, faffing about. Um, but this is what I've done so far. I'm hoping that I can sew my signatures in so that this sort of carries on. But um, again, it might be a bit of a stretch. But it is a junk journal. You know, if it's not perfect, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I do like to try and get it as nice as I can. That page looks okay. This, um, on where I've done that with this page, the printer took this page in, I think it was slightly wonky. So that's why it's not lined up, but I don't really want to print another page just to try and get that right. So we're just going to go with it. So that's what I've done with my pages so far. They may get moved around because, as I say, I was faffing about, umming and ahhing, and then I thought, you know, a lot of these pages are going to have pockets on and flips and all sorts. Why am I overthinking it and worrying about what goes where? So that is how it is looking at the moment. And all the extra pages I've got, I will use for decorating things and making things as we go ahead. Max, in your bed. So I had out one of my beloved junk mail envelopes um, to work on. And then, do you remember in my last video when I was flicking through all the papers I had, I said at the bottom, I said, oh, I've got these, these out. I don't know why I've got these. I had, I bought these papers, they're from collage type um, on Etsy and I used these to make a little door in my um, oh, J.R. Tolkien can't think of the right words <laughs> in that journal you know what I mean and I and I was as I was looking at this I thought oh wouldn't it be good if I could somehow put the windows on top of the window so that you could see through? So I'm going to have a bash at that. Now, this envelope has not been opened very carefully, but I'm hoping that when I stick everything on, it will be OK. And if it's not quite the right size, it probably won't matter because I can collage over bits. But it does mean that I need to try and cut these little bits out of this window is that beyond me? It may well be. But I thought, well, we'll have a go and just spend a nice few minutes together. And if nothing else, you might get a laugh out of watching me struggle trying to do this. So that's what we're doing today. Now, I don't know how long I've got because, um, as I say, I've been faffing already this morning with those pages so I'm not I haven't turned the camera on as early as I normally would and so people might start stirring shortly and getting out of bed so we'll see how much we can get done be oops before that, that was a good start couldn't even keep my knife next to my ruler I'm thinking that if I cut the actual shape out first oh I wonder if I should hmm, just wondering if I should if I should cut it out bigger than I'm going to need it well it's too late now I've put that line in 
I was thinking, you know, if I had this white space above, that would be sticking on there and mending that, but we'll just have to collage that. And what I'm th I didn't finish what I was saying, did I? What I was thinking was, I could cut this down, hopefully, and have it as a pocket, and then you'll see through the window whatever I put in the pocket. That's that's my cunning plan. We'll see how it goes. So, how are you all today? I hope you're all well and happy and working on some lovely things. I'd like I'd love to know what you're doing at the moment, what you're working on. It'd be amazing if you've also bought the um yellow and blue bonanza kit and you're working on that. And let me know if you have. Now this I have done slightly bigger but um as I say I'm not too worried because I can snip things off afterwards or I can collage over anything I don't want. Um, but it's not looking particularly good if I can't even get these long straight bits cut right for cutting out those tiny little squares in the middle, is it? But if nothing else, if I can make something semi-decent out of it, you know that anybody can. Right, so there's my, that's what I'm working with. And I could ink those white bits as well. So now I've got to be very careful and try <clears throat> to only cut. I'm just wondering which way around would be the best to do it. So I've got to cut from there to there. I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating. From there to there. Oh dear. It's like doing a workout, doing something like this. <laughs> I'll need to lie down afterwards. And I was thinking, oh, what can I use as a focal point behind it? And then I thought, Karen, slow down. Do one thing at a time. You might not even be able to work this out. There may not be any, any need for a focal point by the time you've finished with it. <laughs> Yay, that's one. I know I've got some excess white there, but I may just ink that because, you know... Should I try and, should I, should I? Let's have a go. Thing is, I'm trying not to get my ruler too high because then I can't see where I've got to cut to. And I'm going wonky as well, which is not good. Right, okay, I know, what about if I just do some like perforations along there? Maybe I should pause this, it's going to be painful for you to watch me do eight of these windows, isn't it? That bit needs to be stuck back on when I stick the thing down. I'm trying not to stick my head under the camera. I am still in my pyjamas, if you're wondering. Well, they're not really pyjamas, they're... It's like a lounging suit. But I'm not dressed, I'm not dressed for the day. I'm dressed for relaxing. <laughs> right, well that's, you know, it's not um, entirely straight, but I think with some inking and some use of glue, I might get away with that. And it's an old window. It's been there a long time. <laughs> I 
this is going to be the tricky bit because those crossbars are very, very thin. So that there's not a lot left there once you've cut the white out. So they're going to be very delicate to work with. I'm not sure how well they'll stick to the... Um, what am I sticking them to? The window of the envelope. So it's going to be interesting, but if I do it and it doesn't work, at least you'll know not to try it yourself. I'm doing a public service. So it's St George's Day here in England, so happy St George's Day. So we're going to have a nice roast dinner this, after, this afternoon, later on. Traditional English roast dinner. And a nice crumble for pudding. My middle daughter is home at the moment. It's her two weeks off. So she's home, which is why we've just been away. Because she has Max when we're not here. And my youngest daughter is not confident handling Max so um, we don't leave him with her so yes we I always try I do try and do a Sunday roast every week or most weeks I don't get it done every week but most weeks but um, because she goes her 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 changeover day is Sunday, so she finishes on a Sunday and she goes back on a Sunday. Um, so on those Sundays, she misses the roast dinner because of the timing and every, of everything. So um, on the middle Sunday that she's home, I try to make sure I definitely do a roast dinner those weeks. But she likes it. So now I can't remember which... Right, I haven't gone down that middle one. Okay. This one's got the shadow on it, so it's a bit more forgiving. Right, let's see if we've actually... on this one good boy Max sit nicely not quite straight but I think it will do oops missed a bit up here Oh, I'm just thinking, maybe I should have inked all these before I cut them out, because they're going to be tricky to ink. Maybe I'll do that on the other side. See, these are all things that you don't think of until you start doing. You see how thin that little crossbar is on this? It's going to be very easy to tear that. But that's what glue's for. Right, I'm going to do a bit of ink on this before I cut it out because I think it will make it easier. I'm going to have real trouble inking these without breaking. Oh, oh, oh. That was close. <clears throat> Be more gentle, Karen. Oh, oh dear. on that hmm. I'm gonna have to mend that with the glue when I stick it down or when I try to stick it down
a lot of time. Right, let's snip that bit off because that's just going to cause more problems. Any bit that anything that's floating about is going to get caught, and then that's going to be that's going to be more likely to rip those other other pieces off. It's a very old wooden window. The frames are rotting. It's a little cottage hidden in the woods. Right, I'm going to have to try and stick that back down. When I finished, right, let's get the other side done and then see what we can do, see if we can rectify that. So, you probably can't sit. I'm trying to line the ruler up as close to the edge of the frame as I can and then pop my knife where that cross frame is without actually cutting that how come I can't even cut straight when I'm using a ruler oh my blade's a bit wobbly what's happened there it's funny oh I think I've unscrewed it as I'm using it It unscrews, the whole thing twists so that you can change the blade. And as I'm using it, I'm twisting it. I don't know whether it's better to cut the long bits first or the short bits. If anybody's got any advice about things like this, I'm sure it's just practice because I don't do fiddly things very often. Um, oh, look, I've broken that bit now. Um, I'm sure that like most things, the more you do the things like this, using a knife and a ruler and being careful, <laughs> I'm sure the more you do it, the easy, you know, the better you get at it. It's a skill, isn't it? One which I do not possess right now, but I'm working on it. I can't remember if I used a knife and a ruler when I did the, um, the Hobbit, the Hobbit, the Hobbit journal. Was it, did I call it the Hobbit journal? Lord of the Rings, that was it. The Lord of the Rings journal, that's the one that I used these for before. Um, I can't remember if I used it, I must have done, it would have been too fiddly to try and cut it out with scissors. Because I actually had the doors opening on that to see what was behind, you know, it's like a little hobbit house. Um, So I guess I must have used a knife for that. But that's probably the last time I did anything like this. So clearly I need more practice. Smells like next door have got their dinner on already. I smell it cooking. Right, that's that one. And when you're worrying about things like this, you know, these tiny little bits and pieces, when they're stuck down and decorated and whatever, you don't, nobody's really going to notice these. I don't think. Like 
these wonky bits, does that really matter? This need, I have to be careful here because this is where I have torn the middle bit. I mean, this is only paper, so I could always print it out and do it again if I do make a really awful job of it. That's what you have to remember, it's only paper. Did I not do this bit? I did. <clears throat> not very well, but see i'm thinking it's better to have these white bits showing than break the thing like this i hope this isn't too tedious to watch been 20 minutes already <laughs> Well, you can always fast forward it, I suppose. Right. Okay, shall we see if we can work with that? I don't want to take these white bits off. Right, let's see how it fits on here. So, it is too big for what we're doing. So what do I want to do about that? If we put a little bit of lace or something behind, it could be like a curtain, couldn't it? I'm doing this bit first before I cut the pocket down so that I can see exactly what's what. Um, in case you're wondering why I'm working with this massive piece of stuff. So let me just see if I've got any anything lacy to hand. If I need to go and get my lace box down. That's not quite long enough. That's not wide enough. some crochet trim that would probably work so how much do we need that much let's snip that off there and it's probably not going to matter if I use the wrong side because it's going to be hidden anyway so to make sure I stick it in the right place. I need to go as close to the edge as possible to hide as much of that as possible. So I'm just popping some glue on the lace. I know I'm off camera doing that, but my sticky paper is next to me. I'm just um, dobbing some glue on the, the parts of the crochet trim that are a bit more solid. trying to go as close to the window as I can. I'm 
Now I think what I might do, I should have done that before I put the lace down, but I've just thought of it. If I take a piece of packaging paper, I'm just going to stick that above so that I've strengthened that a bit before I do anything else. Because I'm hoping that packaging paper is going to blend in, hide any bits that don't get covered, cover that torn bit where the envelope's been opened a bit roughly. Um, and it, most of it will probably end up being cut off anyway, but at least I've done it. So I'm going to stick that there. And then I want to pop this over here. But what do I want over the rest of the envelope? That looks quite good, doesn't it? <laughs> I know I need to mend these bits, but I'll do that when I stick it down. So I'm just wondering whether to cover the whole envelope just in, or this side of the envelope anyway, just in packaging paper so that we've got a base down and then we could maybe stick some, you know, decorate this. That's probably easiest, isn't it, if I do that? So I should have thought of that and done it before I stuck my nose down, but I'm not going to peel it up and do it now because I'll just make a mess, I know. <coughs> so we've got a straight edge. And that's got a... Let's rip that bit off. That's got a perforation in it. This is just packaging paper. Um from the last dog food delivery <laughs> and it's I've emptied the box I broke broke the box down put it out for recycling um but all the packaging paper is still here next to me so I'm just using that because it's here I've, I got I took one piece out to use as a glue page which is what I've got right next to me um but the rest of the stuff is just Actually, I'm going to go up to the edge of that lace. I know it's covering a bit of the envelope of the window, but then that's going to give me more room to play with when I stick the um, my my window window on on the top. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not worrying about the edges or anything at the moment because I know I'm going to cut this down um, and. If I stick it down as a pocket, I don't need to worry about the back. So I will need to obviously sort the edge out. Um, but yeah, so. Could maybe have a little window box down here with some of the flowers from the kit. I've, you know, I'm making this, it's a design team project and then um, these two videos so far, I haven't used an awful lot of the kit apart from, you know, sorting the pages out. So I do apologise, but we will get to it, I promise. Um, it's just, you know, when you've just, you've had a brilliant idea and you just have to try it and see if it works. That's what I was like this morning. I thought I've, I've just got to try that. Um, I'm not going to fold that over, I don't think, but I'll leave a bit extra just in case I decide to, um, because I'm going to, I'll probably just do the same thing on the back just to, now I'm not sure how wide this is going to be, let's see what it will be at the most, so yeah, just about where that paper's coming to will do. So if I pop that piece there, we should be okay. And I don't know if I'm, I may even open this up and stitch around it. Or I might stitch around it when I've trimmed it. Um, I 
I don't know yet. So I know this looks really messy at the moment, but it will get sorted. It won't be messy when I finished, I hope. <laughs> I hope. So I'm sorry if I'm jogging the camera. I've I've got my camera stand. I've put it in a different position, I think I mentioned. And um, I'm just sticking that there just in case I need it that big. I'm sure I don't. Um, and it's a bit close to me, the camera stand that is. So if I pop that on there. Now, can I do that now or do I need to be thinking about anything else before I stick that down? I think I can stick it down, can't I? Oh, you're probably all shouting at me going, no, no, you need to do this, you need to do that. I think I can stick it down. Now, I'm just deciding whether I want to just try and trim these bits off, and I think I do. So, shall I try with my scissors? I'm not sure if I'm more of a liability with my scissors or with the knife. And having said that, I've just realised that I have not put the cover back on the blade. Which is not good. That's an accident waiting to happen, isn't it? So, uh, keep it straight, Karen. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me. I'm, I'm trying not to damage this any further, but keep the scissors in a straight line and the whole thing's bending as I'm cutting because it's so flimsy. Right, that'll do. <clears throat> now, I'm just going to... Sorry, my voice is going again. <clears throat> I've already had about four cups of tea this morning before I turn the camera on. I'm going to um, ink this more when it's stuck down and dry, I think. So, shall we go for it? shall we i'm going to use the wet glue so that i can try and repair my damaged bits and i'm hoping that they will stick to the window as well but I'm hoping I don't put too much on and it oozes out and messes the window up because then I don't know how I'm, how I will rectify that. So I'm being really, really careful with the glue. Probably not careful enough. But I'm going to just pop a little bit of glue stick down the edges where it's a bit thicker. I don't know why, <laughs> but I am. And some more wet glue. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm, that's why I'm telling you what I'm doing. In case you're wondering. I'm just going to go around there, a little bit down there, a little bit down there. And I'm hoping I've got enough on those broken bits to make it work. So... Let's see what we can do here. I think that's about right. Now this... Let's try and stick this straight, but my fingers are so sticky. I'm just trying to go over the edge of that packing paper. Should have gone a bit further with that. 
but I didn't know where that was going to lay, so, well, not precisely anyway. I really hope this sticks. Oh, look, rolling pin. Right, that's where we are so far. Now, I don't want to do too much to this until the glue has had a chance to dry properly. Um, <coughs> so, shall we look for something that's going to go behind it? Now, I'm not sure if there's anything... just looking at the oh what about we had some I'm just going to pop this to one side for a moment and just have a look at what might go in that pocket um, and I'm just thinking where were the pages these pages that were these are the kit pages but two to a page I didn't do that that's how the kit comes if you didn't see the original flip through so I was wondering if there's something how big is this window about two and a half inches so you could have like a giant butterfly through the window I'm just, I'm umming and ahhing here because <laughs> I've brought that in to show you and I've put it completely off screen. I'll probably want something stuck on the back of the pocket inside so that you're looking at something other than just this, um, the inside of the envelope when there's nothing in the pocket. But then I want something that looks nice in the pocket. You know, when whatever's going to go in the pocket needs to look nice. I can't get my words out this morning. So that tag might work if it was mounted on something else. What's the width? Three and a half only three but we could perhaps have a postcard in there that might work um, because that would be the width of the whole thing then I think these are all too narrow although I could print some and giant them up a bit couldn't I Or I could just mount them onto something else. Ha ha. I wonder if we could do something with this file folder. I might make that into a journal card. With the tab at the top to stick out. Will it be too big if I don't? and a half. Ooh, I might be able to make that work. I might use that. That's, that's a contender. They're just pockets. Page. And then we've got these actual journal cards. So we could have... Yeah, we could use one of those. So it's going to be one or t'other of those. And then what do we want... Oh, in the background, I could just use some of the papers that I haven't used in. In the, as, as pages in the journal. So. What I need to do is, this is what I'm saying, I need to stick. 
something here so that it looks nice when there's nothing in the pocket. So let's open this envelope, this side, because I know this side's going to be cut off um, to get it to the right size. And let's see what we might want in there. that's quite a good colour because where I've still got the edges on the windows it sort of blends in with what's behind there and it looks a bit like a, a shop window doesn't it like that and if I put it there that little vase looks like it's standing on the windowsill have something with a bit more colour. There's, there's butterflies flying around behind the door. No, I think I like this one. I think I'm going to use that. So I'm going to turn that about there. <coughs> Shame I printed on the back of all these. than lower Karen because you can always cut more off. That should be okay. Famous last words. <laughs> so let's try and use my mat to get this straight rather than get the chompy chopper out. Maybe I should just have something like that in the background. Does that look better? Like wallpaper? Um, where's the... I'm just nicking a page out of the book to try something. Just knocked my glue stick on the floor. I'm just wondering, it won't be this actual page, but should I print another one of these yellow pages and pop that behind? Does that, because that sort of covers up my mistakes then. as well. No, I'm going to go with my original idea. Stop overthinking it, Karen. Just do it. Just do it. Right. And I nearly put the glue on the wrong side. <laughs> oh dear, that would be typical, wouldn't it? 
Right, so I'm just putting glue stick on the back of that piece that I've just trimmed down, hoping I can slide it into position where I want it. So, I want that to look like it's sort of sitting on that window so I need to slide it down a bit more. Come on, slide down. Don't stick to my mat, please. I don't want it too far into that corner. Right, that's as far as it goes, so that should be okay. And I've got about four old credit card things on my desk to use for gluing and I can't see them. Oh, there's one behind. Oh, I better not use that. I've got someone's bank details on the back. Right, so that's how that's looking. And I'm just thinking, yeah, no, that would be fine. I, sh I should have made this a bit wider because that part in there is not covered. You're gonna be able to see that in the pocket, but um, that's just gonna have to do for now. We'll be here all day trying to make it perfect otherwise. So I need to cut this down to the right size. I don't think I need to do anything on the back other than strengthening it so that this edge is okay um, when you're popping things in and out. So I think that's probably dry enough now to cut down to size. So I'm just gonna pop you on pause for a second while I trim this to the size I want it. I'll be back in a moment. Right, I've cut that down to, um, it's about five and a quarter inches wide. So now I just need to reseal this side. But before I do that, <clears throat> I think I'm going to put some, even though this is not gonna be seen because it's gonna be stuck to the page. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna put some packaging paper on the back and just tuck it over the top here to strengthen this top edge. Um, because because of this, you know, this is not complete here. So I'm going to do that. Um, shall I use packaging paper or should I use something else? Um, I'm just thinking if I use some sort of patterned paper, I'll have a nice edge coming over here. Um, yeah, maybe I should just use a strip rather than the whole, cover the whole back, because um, I only need that top bit to be strengthened. So, if I slide that in there, Into the, into the corner. And then, if we chop it off, let's try and do it straight, Karen. Not that it matters because it won't be seen, but at least I know it's neat then. 
should be enough. I'm just popping some more glue on the back of that. Really, I should have, um, I should have, <laughs> you know, folded it first. Can't think of the word I want. Scored it. I should have scored it first. That's the word. Should have scored it first, but I didn't. Right. Snip that off there. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to seal this edge back up. So I will use my wet glue for that, which I have buried. Buried in amongst the packaging paper and now my glue doesn't want to come out and I need to pop a bit more down there and run some along this edge here need to be left to dry and then all I'm going to do is stick this down on the page I'm not going to show you now because there's glue everywhere <laughs> and I don't want to stick it to the page at the moment and I will obviously need to make something to pop in there um, but yeah I think that's come out okay there's you can still see um, obviously the joins in that where I have um, <clears throat> what have I done? <laughs> well, I've collaged this paper, but if I cut out, you know, some butterflies and some flowers and stick those on and decorate that, I think that will look all right once it's all done. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. Thank you for bearing with me today. I know that was a bit of a painful watch. Um, and also, yeah, the other thing I need to do is once this is completely dried, I'm going to go over this again with some ink over the edges just to finish it all off. And I know it's a bit wonky on there, but that's how it is. <laughs> <coughs> it's a junk journal, nothing straight. So thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're working with this kit. And I'll be back again in another couple of days with another video for you. In the meantime, take care, look after yourselves and enjoy your own crafty time. Bye bye.